pressure rate one should be equal to pressure rate two. So get into the mathematics. What is the pressure rate one? So we don't know density of liquid. I, I'll call it as rho one. As such, it's a question mark. So this should be equal to how much? No. P naught plus rho one g two h. What is the pressure rate two? P naught plus two rho g h. So P naught get cancels. So rho one equal to rho. The density of other liquid is rho. That's why as it is a lighter, no, so it has rise to more height. Now, if you accelerate the tube towards right till heights of liquid column will be the same. Find the acceleration of the tube. It's going to accelerate it. If you don't accelerate, the lighter one will rise to more height. No, the lighter one will rise to more height. Then this is the wear. So, in what direction I should accelerate so that the level should be same as telling? So, shall I shall shall I accelerate towards left? If you accelerate towards left, how the free surface will be? So, get get into the basics of this. If I accelerate towards left, the free surface will take like this here. Further, the level will increase. No. If you accelerate towards right. If I accelerate towards right, so possibility like this having more level, so it it may come to the same level. I think we have to first analyze what direction I should put it here. If we accelerate the tube towards left, then the level here will decrease. The level here will further increase. No question of that. If I accelerate towards right, the level here here should decrease and here should increase. So in that manner, what happens? The level may be equal, can happen. So therefore, I should put acceleration for the tube towards right here. I think we have to analyze. There is no other way. Now get into this one. He himself is telling the level will be same, and the level will be same means. I don't know what is that level that that we have to find out, and the other one both are of same. What should happen to overall volume of liquid? As as there is no spilling spill spill out, so definitely, what do you expect the volume of liquid? Volume of liquid has to be same, no? The overall volume of liquid must be equal. Mm. Now, this much is what we can. Now, what is the volume of liquid? Total volume of liquid. Two H plus H. Total length of the liquid column will be will be will be three h three h and this is two h and the height should be same. So how to how to get that height? This height should be same. And, and this is a liquid of density two rho. This is a liquid of density rho. Now I I want uh, students to really. <coughs> and th there's an interface. How to bring that y? Y is also unknown. No. Uh, no let, let, let's do one thing. As it accelerates, so th this level will fall. No. This level will fall. This level will increase. This level will increase. So, how to get that y value of y? So, what can be next possible value? 
so th this can be 1.8 if this is 1.8 so this is 2h no so this like a 1.8 h this will become how much 1.2 h so when the levels will be equal when the levels are equal what should be the height i think shall i go for this as 3h by 2 so how do how do you can say like so this height is the level of liquid in the right column is 2h in the left column is h then when the level will be same 3h by 2 so if you want you can directly write 3h by 2 i just wanted you to analyze hmm? okay now 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 this about is asking to get that acceleration hmm. how to so there's a point 1 there's a point 2 Now, if you want, you can let, let's write this one. Manometric equation will write it, and it is accelerating. So, shall we write manometric equation? No, say no, no concept. At least I can say that there is no any big thinking is needed. There's no any big thinking in it. Straight away, write manometric equation. Between what, sir? Between what? Between one and three. Between nine, two and three. So, let, let me begin like this. P one. Uh, can you remember that P1, if you move against the liquid, will you write plus rho L or minus rho L? Okay, I'll, I'll show between 3 and 2 first, between 3 and 2, now from 3 to 2. P3, if you move against the liquid column, if you move against the acceleration of liquid column, the gauge pressure should be positive. So 2 rho A. So what is this length? H by 2. So what is this length? 3H by 2 as y equal to 3H by 2 is there. Now, now get into P3 plus 2 rho A H by 2 minus p2 equal to 0. Similarly, right equation p1 plus rho a 3h by 2 minus p3 equal to 0. Uh, al along y-axis, along y-axis, how you write? p2 should be equal to p0 plus 2 rho gy. p1 equal to p0 plus rho gy. So we know value of y, substituting all that we have to solve for acceleration e. Now what we should do, so there's the equation 1, 2, 3, and 4. Or directly, sir, I'll write between 2 and 1. Yes, you can write it. I just wanted you to students to learn. I just split it up. What is this? This is the interface. Huh? I just wanted students to like this interface is very important in some numericals i'm going to take help of this one you can also write directly from this point to this point you can also directly write from this point to this point so how it is possible okay i think if you substitute this value p naught substitute three in one what actually you get it that equation. No? So let, let, let me show that writing manometric equation. P3. I think finally, rather than like this, I, I want students to think here. P3 plus 2 rho A H by 2 minus 2 rho G Y minus P naught equal to 0. So where is the P2? P2 is the intermediate point. If you add up 1 and 2, if you substitute 3 in 1, I think you'll get this equation only. Similarly, let, let, let me write manometric equation. See, uh, it's all about manometric equation.
it's all about writing manometric equation so th this is those who are finding very difficult i just chosen this method so I, i'll start from free surface p naught plus rho g y minus rho a 3h by 2 minus p 3 0 add substitute uh, like a 4 in 2 we'll get it now now eliminate p naught and p 3 from here solve for this you'll get acceleration Anybody value acceleration? Uh, I think uh, 3g by 5. I, I, I'll feel very happy if you can say that, yes, sir, we understood this. Th this is something uh, which I wanted you to write, not like something uh, breaking up from 1, 2, 3, and that one. So here, what I did, I just broke this particular liquid column from 3 to 2. Then again, separately from 2 to this free surface. Similarly, from free surface to 1, again from 1 to 3. But in exams, you're supposed to write, or sir, shall I write directly from year to year? Yes, no problem, what is there? You can write directly from year to year. You can save time, no, one equation finish all. P naught you are starting, and again P naught, P naught get eliminated, no three, no one, no two. Still more, still more. See, you should always search for P naught or, or the P naught plus rho g y plus rho a 3h by 2 plus a 2 rho h by 2 minus 2 rho g y minus p naught equals 0. I think I'll, I'll give name. Uh, this is a 4. Let this be 5. Okay, fine. This is, I think, very easy, no? Straight away, <laughs> no need to think so much. I said the question was intended to make students to learn manometric equation. I'll, I'll go to the next one. I'll scroll down. 